Hello everybody, this is NGC 2207B again. If you before we get started, if you like what you see here, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. We really appreciate it. Also, in the description, the links to my, uh, to my main channel and uh, my second channel. Not my, uh, this is my main channel. Uh, my second channel, NGC 20 Gaming, and my Patreon. And it's Dell E773. I still Patreon. Get their name in put in the description of this video. Any other videos as well? Yeah, you can see in the background here is my Dell E773 SCRT monitor, same monitor that my that that particular Patreon tier gets its name after from. Today we're going to be trying hooking and then the switch up to this. So obviously you need your Nintendo Switch and a CRT monitor, but I mean also the dock for it. I have some things hooked up to our uh, power supply now and uh, Ethan actually. Uh, Here's the back too, but also another thing Matt Rice gonna need actually with the VJ monitor, you're gonna need an uh, need an adapter. I just unplugged the monitor actually. Uh, put on right there. VJ adapter and if your monitor doesn't if your CRT monitor does not have an internal speakers, which most likely does not. You need uh, I have external speakers with like your sound bar with the high adapter. Some VJ there are some VJ VJ adapter with uh audio output, but but this guy, I don't have that. I do have one, but it's not going to fit there properly, and so here I'm going to use the swi uh, Switch's own audio output right here. There it is. It's going from the... Uh, I'll put that back in a minute, but uh, there you go. But uh, First off, we're going to... You have to plug each. Of course, also you get a plug HDMI in onto the e HDMI input on the adapter, the HDMI output on your switch. Of course, this adapter is so crappy and cheap. That for, uh, for best results, you need an external adapter, and even then, uh, best results for this adapter is worse than what this monitor is capable of displaying. So I'm not. I don't even know where I got this adapter from at all either. I mean, worse than I get if I even knew where I got it from, I wouldn't be worth giving the link to it anyways. I'm not. Find a better work for you to use so in case you have a higher bandwidth monitor. That will be able to properly display 720p and 10, even 1080p if you really want that. But uh, I mean, this one will technically display 7, uh, 720p. It's just it just sits there and screams at you. Uh, of course, put the VJ uh, the VJ VJ input of the monitor, VJ output of the thing. Like that audio uh, audio input. Audio cable for the sound bar or speaker device of choice goes in there, and there you go. Check with the CRT monitor, automatically turns off on as soon as it gets the signal. Or if there's nothing plugged up for the, VG, uh, plug into the cable at all. Actually, it works pretty well. In fact, uh, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna. This set up right where I can zoom it onto the Super T real quick. I mean, this switch is uh, having a problem where it's saying only to uh, 480p, but that's fine with this monitor. I don't know how I can see it here, but the monitor is uh, with CRT computer monitor factoring using it in a switch right running to switch to 480p 6 hertz on the CRT computer monitor. On HD CRT, like this one actually shows how good, how good a uh, true analog HD CRT like this one is, like a, like this VJ monitor. In fact, this is RGB as well. And I can't really see it here. I would put move the camera up, but that's kind of. I tried it early, at early previous times of making this video, but that was kind of cumbersome. Actually, so I'm not gonna try it, but uh, I'm not gonna try it here. But there is basically just a bunch of black lines across the screen. In fact, if you uh, see here and use the monitor long enough, you're not gonna see it. If you're wondering where the screen is going, I do have the Nintendo Switch set to a limited range. Which means you're not going to get the true black capability that the CRTs are capable of, but it's kind of fine in this case. If you do want that, you're going to know it's going to be a little dark, especially, on the, especially, with the, especially with a CRT like this one that's much higher hour. But if you're using a CRT TV instead of a monitor, which does require a completely different kind of adapter, then know what this uh, then what's on here. Uh, In the limited, then going the full range, full RGB or whatever, uh, might look okay if you have the uh, thing setting set right. But 
the exception of my, the exception of my of the JVCD series that have my bedroom, that didn't look quite well, but that's just something I've got to mention. Uh, you might have better results with your CRT monitor full range as well than I have. Than I have but, because I'm pretty sure this is this is a high hour monitor. Pretty dim. Get it first here. I found out it's pretty dim relative to the other monitor, which I'm pretty sure is a low hour. Well, still at low hour at least. So, uh, the reason I'm not using the other monitor, which can tech, which can actually display 1080p, the reason I'm not using that one because it's actually already in use. Like as of me as of me making this video right now, I'm actually have it my uh, laptop hook, my laptop hooked to. That's kind of my uh, main gaming monitor. And I don't call that and. Uh, if you're wondering what this video quality looks like in real life, you see here it looks pretty okay. It probably looks okay on here. If you're wondering, what, if you're wondering what it looks like in real life, it's actually really sharp. In fact, that once you once you get like a few minutes, uh, go, once you uh, sat here for a few minutes on this monitor, you don't even notice the fact that it's uh, you kind of forget that it's even running at 480p almost. But with Minecraft is actually perfect. Minecraft will actually scale perfectly to your res uh, to 480p resolution. Snow now. Fork is ever just just melt snow. But Play for a little while, then I will end the video after a little while playing Minecraft. I mean, with this particular v uh, VGA adapter, uh, latency would be pretty bad, but like I said, there are better ones. I actually have a better one. My best v HDMI to VGA adapter I have, which is still not the best uh, VGA adapter to get, but I want to bring out some really good DisplayPort adapters, which I can't really use with the, with the Nintendo Switch, but it's kind of fine in this case. But, uh, Again, my best uh, HDMI to VGA adapter on my laptop, so I can only use the HDMI on the laptop, so it kind of doesn't uh, matter if I have anything better, but and then just, uh, again, like same, just like the Nintendo Switch, but uh, if we're planning on using a CRT monitor on, a mon on some of the modern connectors, uh, you have better luck using it as a uh, with a DisplayPort adapter. Of course, you can only get that with like, uh, a uh, computer that has a DisplayPort. I never even has to sleep for. I guess I should put that on more computer, but whatever. One more mentioning why you should use, why reason I'm mentioning you should use the display port adapter if you're using a CRT computer monitor on a modern computer with only modern connectors. Because they do lower, they actually do a much lower latency and uh, much lower uh, display latency than the. HDMI ones plus it can support much higher resolutions than the HDMI ones. Like, Basically, just explore around, just the, uh, just demonstrate the capability of this CRT. Oh, let me on the CRT. Then you just switch after on the CRT, but uh.
Of course. Price how good in fact uh, Minecraft looks uh, really good if you're running in HD in fact but uh all oh, this particular CRTLR looks sharp uh really sharper in uh 480p sharper than it does uh than it does seven uh seven sixty eight p but uh like that will be it for today's video. Uh, if you like what you see here don't forget to click like and subscribe down below we really appreciate it also if that also like CRT model working just fine, but uh, if you like what you see here, don't forget to click like, subscribe now, below. we appreciate it. Also, links to my Patreon and in-game channel in description. Uh, this would probably, uh, some people probably say this would be better for the game channel, but no, this is for the main channel. It's basically just full of content and I'm working on a bunch of stuff in the background. But also, uh, but, uh, at least I actually have something to come out for y'all, so, uh, but yeah, but again, uh, Patreon, Dell, you said seven three S tier patrons get their name in the description video. Here's the mod that that Patreon here gets name out, uh, gets name from. That was NGT Twitch Simbi. Yeah, see you later and uh, have a great day.